What is up fellow footballers, Iyasu here, and this is the Pantafola Doro Lazzarini Ambra AG. Now in short, Pantafola Doro is the manufacturer, Lazzarini is the model, Ambra refers to the colour, and AG refers to the type of sole plate on the shoe, which in this case is designed for artificial grass. Pantafola Doro is an Italian company and their name translates to Golden Slipper or Golden Slippers. Their boots are particularly special because they've been handcrafted the same way since the company was founded in 1886. Now because of this, their boots are really old school and as far as first impressions are concerned, they're not giving anything away. There's no fancy colorway, there's no fancy design that screams look at me. In fact, these have such a simplistic and low-key profile that you need to take a closer look just to even know what brand they are, with the company name and founding year faintly engraved on the side of the shoe. The only other boots that you could really put these up against or compare them to is the Copa Mundial from Adidas, but even then they still have a more classic look and some would even argue that they're more prestigious. The upper is made from 100% calfskin, which is extremely soft, extremely durable, water resistant and most of all provides a great touch. The Lazzarini also features the classic central lacing system with metal lace holes. The only notable difference these make is that given the texture of the metal, the laces are easier to loosen and tighten. They are at least double the length of your average boot. Seriously, these are long but this is because they're designed to be wrapped under the shoe to help provide extra support and lock your foot onto the sole plate. Pretty old school. Nylon stitching borders the one-piece gum rubber sole plate with a unique and effective stud pattern. The toe box is also reinforced with an extra row of stitching. Taking a look inside the shoe, the lining is also made of calfskin, which you don't really see too much of these days. You'll also find the words made in Italy stamped under the tongue along with the shoe size. However, the inner sole has probably had the least amount of work put into it with it being a very simple textured material and only very lightly glued in. You almost feel as though you can pull it out, but you will feel the glue once you attempt to. As far as weight is concerned, these shoes are heavy by today's standards. And it's no surprise considering the method of manufacturing has barely been altered for well over a century. With a weight of 364 grams, the Lazzarini is obviously no competition for the likes of the Finale 3 for example, which come in at 224 grams. Or even the Adidas Gazelle which is just over 300 grams. Because of this and its mild bulky build, the Lazzarini is not practical for freestyle, but it does however provide amazing comfort and it's largely thanks to the calf skin. I mean you can simply feel how soft the calf skin is by just pressing on the surface of the leather. The only downside to calf skin is that it does require a longer break-in time compared to kangaroo leather. So I would say at least a week and a half to two weeks minimum to get um, these boots comfortably molded to your foot shape. When it comes to performance, these boots are a blast from the past in the best possible way. As soon as you put them on, they really do not feel like anything else. The closest other boot, again, that I could really compare them to is the Copas from Adidas, but they're very different from them as well. There is something that I can't get past though that I need to explain to you, and that's the fact that this was originally designed for an outdoor game, you know, 11 a side football, and they've changed the sole plate to accommodate the small sided game, but it still feels like an outdoor boot. It still feels like you're wearing a football boot not an artificial grass boot or an indoor boot. Because of that, you feel like you should be wearing these in a full match, not, not in a small side of the game. So if you are gonna get these, I would highly recommend that you stick to getting the um, soft ground or firm ground version and not the, not the futsal or AG version. So that's the only thing I had against these and that's something that I experienced once I purchased them. So that's why you haven't seen these in my videos. I've just sort of kept them clean kept them intact. I'd rather just have them as a piece of my collection and looking good. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know down below what you thought of it. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.